Yo, what is up, guys? Your boy Sisu H. Here, bringing you guys the Cinema 4D Sisu HQ's virus style tutorial. And uh, today is my birthday, so uh, happy birthday to me! And uh, yeah, so uh, this is basically one of the most like freaking like requested tutorials. So I waited on a month, went and just outplayed it a little bit for myself, and I was like, all right, I'll do the tutorial right now. So uh, let's do this. Uh, we're gonna start off with our logo hidden, just like so. All right, so now what you wanna do is uh, basically the effect is used. Uh, with metaball, it's basically used with metaball. I don't know how else to say it, and that's just modeled in a little way. So uh, it's pretty simple. Let's get going. So let's do this. All right. So you always see these little solid shapes right here. You want to go ahead and click on them, and then you want to go to sphere, and then you, when you have your sphere, you want to go to uh, MoGraph cloner, and you want to drag your sphere inside the cloner. And uh, now you want to click on your cloner. You want to go to your mode and change it from linear, drop down to grid array, and then when you have that, you want to go to your size and change it from 200. Uh, to 250 for all of them, just like so. All right, so now what you have is this like cubic uh, spherish thingy, and uh, you're on the right track. So uh, now you want to go to your array tab right here, and you want to go ahead and click a meta ball, and then you want to drag your cloner inside your meta ball, and then you just want to uh, click on your meta ball, and uh, you have your hue value and your editor subdivision. You want to change that from 100 to 810, and then your subdivision to 7. And uh, now you have these like smooth spheres in this little cubic uh, form. So now what you want to do is uh, you want to click on your cloner. Make sure you have your cloner selected. It's highlighted. And you want to go to MoGraph, Effector, Random. And then what Random does is it distorts that little cubic uh, sphere thing. So you want to click on your Random right now. You want to go to your Strength and change it from 100 to 175. Press Enter. And it basically distorts it the way uh, I usually keep it, just like so, my preset distort. And uh, now you can go ahead and click on your meta ball and either press C on your keyboard or right click make editable. And there you go. You don't need this random anymore, so you can just delete it. Uh, so now what you want to do is you want to click on your meta ball. You want to go ahead to your model little tab right here. And uh, then you have it. You can see it's blue, all that little stuff. And uh, when you click on stuff, it highlights them. And to click on more things, you want to go ahead and uh, hold shift and then click. That will allow you to click on more things. So now what you want to do is you want to uh, type UL on your keyboard, just like so. And you see this little square come right next to your mouse. That means what this does is basically uh, connects paths, uh, so you don't have to like click on one little like freaking square at a time. So it basically connects paths, and it makes it super simple for people to uh, you know model stuff and whatever. So what you want to do is uh, you want to click all the way around your uh, your virus or whatever you want to call this, your meta ball, and uh, you just basically want to click and leave some spaces. Just make it as sporadic and random as possible. And I'm gonna do that for you right away. And I'm also going to speed it up so you don't have to watch me. So uh, it's going to take two, three minutes, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back. As you saw, I just randomly uh, clicked in random spots and tried to fill space. I kind of missed some right here. But uh, I, just, I just held shift, clicked some spots, and uh, just try to fill space with no, no type of pattern or whatever. So uh, now that we have uh, this random spots clicked, we're going to go ahead and right click. And uh, you want to go ahead and click on smooth shift. And then when you click on smooth shift, you're going to see offset. You want to change your offset to whatever number you have it at and change it to negative 4 and press enter. And what that'll do is push in what you have selected so that you can see it's uh, pushed in. So now what you want to do is kind of like zoom in a little bit. You want to take whatever glow you have. You can take any glow and uh, you want to have a glow and a dark grunge color or whatever to get the same effect as me. Uh, dark grunge material, whatever. You can get them from Perfect's Real Texture Pack. I'll link in the description. Uh, shout out to him. So I have this orange glow from his pack. All you got to do is drag your glow into the selected. And what that does is basically put the glow into the little crevice, and you can see that it's like looks all cool and stuff. So what you want to do is you want to take your, you know, whatever material you're, uh, you're using, your dark material, whatever you want to use, and then you want to just throw it on the meta ball, and then you want to drag your uh, glow behind the uh, the solid color or whatever color you use in the background, and uh, there you go. It just basically just pops just like so. And then whatever you're using in the uh, the back color, you want to change it from your projection to cubic. And uh, same thing with the glow, but it doesn't really matter, but same difference. So uh, now what you want to do is just add it on. Just basically, you're going to shrink it a little bit. <clears throat> We're going to shrink it just a tiny bit. 
boom like so and then just just copy it and uh, bring it other spots just like so and just make it all sporadic or whatever I uh, sloppy that's so sloppy but you know what I mean uh, you just add in random spots and you're all good so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, effect tutorial and uh, hopefully I get a nice little likey likey because I know this is definitely one of those tutorials that you guys all like and I am back to making tutorials and it, I am on summer break too so uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot of tutorials and trying more just ideas so uh, thanks anyways and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you later just get you out that's you <laughs> what the fuck I was doing so well and all this is Sesso HQ is out. Peace.